What's up collectors, you're not so much enthusiast, today I'm going to be taking a look at the recently leaked pictures for Transformers Kingdom, Deluxe, Last Slammer, and Poffer. <laughs> and for our first figure here we have Deluxe, Last Puffer, and I'm going to be really honest with you guys, this for me is a complete pass. This is not an actual character, this is, I see this as a meme. Because he's, he was an idea, you know, of a retooling of uh, the uh, figure pipes, of the old school figure pipes back then. Uh, you know, to some country, it was Puffer. And I don't know, man, I really don't care. This is not an actual character. And I'm not familiar with the idea of this guy. So for me, it's a complete pass. Don't get me wrong, though. This guy looks insane. You can see that the color distribution looks fantastic. It really looks unique, you know, like his own character but again like i told you this is not an actual character that's why you don't see you know any pictures of his character on the top you know either left or right you only see the actual minifigure that that's pretty much the idea for this one but other than that there's not much to say about this guy because again it's just a copy and paste of pipes you can see you know the same sculpted and detail all over the place the only difference is it's just the color distribution one thing to mention and this has absolutely nothing to do with the figure is to the guy that is taking the pictures is that why is this you know becoming a trend recently i did a video on Re formatting Galvatron and he was also on the floor so why the guy that we're gonna go ahead and take a look on a minute you know slammer he is also on the floor so why, why can't you know they just put the figure standing still on a random place to take the picture and not only that this guy is even worse it's not fully you know correctly transformed so this is so cringy to watch it, it's so so I don't know it kind of bothers me because you know I, I treat my figures well I you know no scratches no dirt no nothing and seeing these guys on the floor man it, it, it really really gets me mad but you know it, it has absolutely nothing to do with the figure itself so just go ahead and keep it moving for our second and final figure here we have none other than kingdom slammer and honestly i didn't think that this guy was gonna look this good but i love it i love the sculpted and detail paint distribution looks fantastic the only kind of weird thing it's kind of off it's not supposed to be there it's the blue visors because you can see everything is so dark and greedy and then you see the face go and you see that blue there and you're like what i mean i understand the autobot logo being red because obviously it's the autobot logo and that's supposed to be there you know it's accurate but the blue visors why did why just you know maybe a gray color or a white color black i don't know if you pick your poison but this blue it kind of looks off honestly this guy transforms into two things attack mode and a tower mode so go ahead and pick your poison obviously this guy is kind of like a moderator kind of weaponizer and it's you know a deluxe less you can go ahead and display with the other ones you know break it apart put it back in uh you know combine them if you want because you can see that the hand is missing so that's just a pet boy that you can go ahead and pick it in with some other parts and pieces from the other ones so you know you can play pretty much just a lego transformer like the fossilizers on the kingdom line uh, but other than that there's not much to say about this guy other than it looks like he was slammed into the floor because you can see this is another floor picture and i'm blaming hasbro it's hasbro where to release you know official pictures of their product this would not even be a thing because you know it's not a leak if it's out there so it's kind of irrelevant but i don't know man just this is hasbro's fault because for example they recently had a fan force friday they could have just you know puts a couple of pictures not even the figure just put a couple of pictures and just discuss you know the quality and the things that this guy brings to the table the features and all that good stuff and that's it you can discuss it for five ten minutes and you know call it a day but nah man they decided to just that front strider was so juiceless i i didn't even watch it fully and they could have just easily put a couple of pictures of slammer i honestly don't understand why and you know because they don't do that they, people come and just take pictures on the floor i suppose i, I don't know man i don't know I, i'm blaming hasbro that being said i'm gonna go ahead and end it here because there's not much to say and probably both of them are passes for me because i'm not that interested slammer looks good but not that good enough for me to pick him up so they're pretty much passes for me and uh, it's a short one i'm not gonna go ahead and keep complaining because again there's only two pictures i don't want you to make a eight minute video out of two pictures so i'm just gonna go ahead and end it here as always leave your thoughts in the comments down below i'm really really interested to see and know you know your opinion on the subject because these two figures man they're, they're kind of 50 50 they're not you know that excited so uh leave your thoughts in the comments down below but other than that that's pretty much it for the whole thing i hope you enjoy if you did please leave a like it will help you to algorithm and host my videos get out there in a while so if you get anything any body anime content please subscribe and i will see you on the next video but this is pretty much it for transformers kingdom deluxe class slammer and poffer